Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Kent. I'm out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, all that stuff. So uh, let's take a look here. So Vestiment's something about warrior horses. I don't know what you're talking about because it's Thanksgiving, and there's only one animal you can talk about on Thanksgiving. So let's all head over to our classic warrior turkey site that we all have. Check that out. Um, as it is Thanksgiving, I also wanted to mention I'm incredibly thankful for this demo because it's gotten me out of uh, lunch with my in-laws today. So woo! <laughs> Um, I'll have a different Thanksgiving dinner tonight. All right. So let's take a look. So here we are on our classic warrior turkey site, and they've got this nice gobble list over here. Let's check that out. If we head over to the list, you can see we've got, uh, I'll zoom that a little bit. There we go. You know, we've got our entries here. We've got some kind of code here. And what that is is actually a YouTube embed code. So we're going to go over here and we can take an example of that. So say we wanted to add another sweet turkey video. I've got this turkey chase video. Let's grab that and let's not listen to it. And this little code up here, which so we can see that a little better right here in the URL. You see, I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to paste that into my list. And that's how you get kind of the you know, unique identifier for a video. So let's just hit new. And of course, this will be called gobble. And our value is there. I'm going to save that guy. So what are we doing with this, right? Like, why is this helpful? Well, we can do this cool thing where if we go back to the uh, web page here, we're going to hit a new page. And we'll just do a blank page. We're going to create kind of a miniature application. So we're going to call this, you know, gobble, gobble. That sounds great. And we'll change that image. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at all these lovely suggestions, but we're going to upload one. All right, we'll grab uh, some turkey heads. That sounds good. All right, we'll add that image there. We're going to move this around. The idea is I'm quickly just kind of making a page, right? Very exciting. But down here, I'm going to take this section and I'm going to make it, a, say, a one-third left. You know, we'll put that. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit because that's driving me nuts. Okay, so now what I can do here, instead of adding text, right? Let's delete that out of here. I'm going to add a list view web part. Sorry, grab my list. See, I've only got the one list gobbles. So I'm going to grab that. And you see, there you go. I've got all my exciting stuff here. And that's cool. And that's great that I can show that. But what if I come over here and I add this embed? And so I add the embed web part. And some of you guys may be aware you can embed things. Well, let's say like this turkey chase video. You know, it's cool. I hit the share button, click embed. All I have to do is copy this, right? So now if I come back over here to my new page, and I paste that in here. All right, I get this. And if you get a second, it's going to show my turkey chase video right there. And that's that's okay. If you want to create a page per video, uh, that's fine. But what if you've got a lot of turkey videos you want to watch, right? Well, here's what you can do. You can do this cool connection piece here. So hit this little these dots and connect to source. You can see the source is gobble. That's my, my web part over here. I choose that. And now I come in here, and the key part is this is that code we talked about, right? So I'm going to delete that. And so just the same kind of format as in list formatting, I'm going to type in gobble. And you can see I actually got completion there. But there's my, what I want to do is I want to pick that. And so now what that does, all right, so you can see I've got, just to make sure everyone can see that, what I typed was square bracket, dollar sign, and then the internal name of my column, which happened to be gobble. All right, and then I close off with a square bracket. And what it's going to do is going to automatically replace that with whatever value is coming from that source. So in this case, that's this list over here. So if I'm going to close this guy, and as I'm kind of using this, right, I select that. Oh, there's that video. There's that video. There's the turkey chase. And I've got like, a, oh, let's see, we've got all these extra things, though, that are going to confuse users. And I just want this navigation piece, right? So how can I make that a little better? I mean, that's really cool. Go ahead and publish that guy. What if I come over here? Uh, am I still connected? All right. I had a weird blip there. Okay. So I come back to my list, right? What if I wanted to apply a format to this? So let's go to all items. And I'm going to apply a view format because a view format will not just affect single columns, it'll affect the whole thing here, which is what I want. So I'm going to hit format current view and I'm going to copy one of our samples over here, our generic video button. Let me grab that. I'm going to just paste it here and we'll go through what it does real quick. Preview that. All it's doing um, is we're coming in here and we're creating a div and we're creating an icon right so this ms video solid that's that's scary here and then we're putting our text which is whatever the title was right which happens to be gobble for each one of these all right that's all i'm doing but i'm making sure that that uh 
other pieces there, and I'm hiding the column header, right? So I set this hide column header to true and gets rid of all those columns so it feels a little better, right? So I'm going to save that. Now, if I go back to my new page here, my refresh, you'll see my format actually gets applied here, which is awesome. One thing I'm going to make sure I do, though, is make this even less list web part like. I'm going to edit the web part properties for the list web part. I'm going to uncheck show command bar. And apply that gets rid of that extra junk up there. I can't quite get rid of some of these titles, and I can't rid of, get rid of the see all, which is a little upsetting. But if I do that, though, republish that, now I've got this kind of miniature application. So I've got my video kind of portal page. I come in here, and I can apply whatever formatting I want, right? So you can get really elaborate here. But now I've got a video selector. You could also do this with documents or all sorts of other pieces, right? So you had a document library. You wanted to explore how you wanted to do, like, thumbnails here and have a nice viewer. By setting up that quick connection, you can use view formatting in connection with some of the out-of-the-box web parts to create kind of a miniature application. And you notice I didn't really do any coding outside of cutting and pasting some JSON from our free sample repository, right? And that wasn't even necessary. That's just me uh, putting some icing on this uh, or whipped cream on this pumpkin pie. <laughs> Look at that. Very topical. All right. So that's, that's pretty cool, right? So let's take a look here just to review. All right, so if you use that list view web part or the document library web part, you, your formats will apply over there, including a lot of your styles and colors. Uh, there used to be a lot more discrepancies between the list view and list view web part. There aren't near as many now, which is awesome. Uh, there are a couple of gotchas there, right? The title and the see all are going to continue to show. Uh, here's a hint. You can actually type a space as the title, and then it won't show anymore. Uh, but you're still going to get that see all link, which will take you back to the main list view. But if you take advantage of that column selection hiding, in this case, we didn't want to hide the selection because we're using the selection to embed or to send the, uh, the current embed code over to the embed web part. Uh, but hiding that column header really takes away that kind of list feel altogether. And then make sure you hide the command bar within the web part. Uh, that's a big one to make sure it gets rid of like the export to Excel and all that other stuff, which can be helpful. But generally, if you're trying to create this kind of miniature application experience, you're not going to want. So a couple of resources for you. Get the full documentation over here. Uh, this sample, this generic video button, uh, it's not super elaborate, but it'll kind of show you how to do it and also walks through that kind of connection that I did very, very quickly. Of course, you can always watch the video and put it on half speed. Uh, I don't know why you do that, but you could. It's an option. And if you are in the U.S. or elsewhere and you just really want to celebrate uh, you know, Thanksgiving, and you need help with your turkey, here's the uh, turkey helpline. So that's a free service to uh, get information on how to properly cook one of these delicious turkeys. That's all I got. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> super helpful. Super, super helpful.